Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Hawaii has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Holmes from the 7. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 35. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Guillory's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Throws, and it's incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on this fundamental. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching and work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Fires incomplete, knocked away. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Simmons to punt. And he hooked it. Gets to about the 37-yard line. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The 35-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That brings up second and 13. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. Blue and Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it third and 13. catch and he's got room here he's pushed out of bounds right around the 46 yard line it's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down Boy, what a throw by the quarterback almost equally excellent catch by the receiver but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop oh what a hit he did a good job there to give his team decent field position This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled. 
Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That makes it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Guillory on the give. And he shoved out of bounds around the 17-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 17-yard line, second down. Dumps it out left to the running back. Tackle around the 8-yard line. That's a gain of 9 on the play. That'll bring up 3rd and 2. And now he pitches it, steps out of bounds at the three-yard line. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Good play here, getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. Touchdown, Utes. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Aggies come into today's game ranked fourth, hoping a win can move them up in the rankings. And for Texas A&M, they reach the end zone on the ground. Ramsey's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Aggies have the edge, 7-3. Meanwhile, the Commodores were ranked number 23. A tough, solid performance, but still a loss. Will they be able to stay in the pole? And for Vanderbilt, they've lost two in a row. And for Warren, he slipped into the end zone for a pair of touchdown runs. The Blazers win it by one. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Johnson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Collier from the four at the 30, and he's hammered down. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Here's the give. And he's tackled in the open field. No game. to his tight end. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. From the 
their own 45-yard line. First down. Tackled around the 46 yard line. That's a good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's go. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's a good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and seven. And here's another third down. Receiver. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7 0, Utah. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Jackson awaits the snap. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Utah is up a score. Hand off to the right. He's to the 40. And down he goes at midfield. That makes it first and 10. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Four down, four down. Mike 56, Mike 56. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Joseph runs a counter. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Got some open field. Touchdown, Utah. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Aggies come into the game ranked fourth in the nation. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Aggies unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. And for James, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Aggies have the lead 21-6. Middle of the second quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. The huge running back left the game earlier with that injury. And what we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. Room around the corner. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. He 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 43. Mike seven. Mike seven. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he throws it away. receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Swings it out there incomplete. Second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Winning! He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires out to his wide out. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. His receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here he goes. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Aggies survived at today's game ranked fourth in the nation. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Texas A&M, they're trying to win their first game of the year. Texas A&M leads it 28-6. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese. 14-7. Stone has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Holmes takes it at the 12. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Utah is up by a touchdown. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. first down so they'll have to punt this one away on third down the defense was expecting the pass 
and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Simmons to punt. Collier takes it to 25. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. The ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. He dives and he'll be marked down. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Utah up seven points here's a little draw play nice run and he's brought down so the draw to the halfback picks up four the Utes taking their first time out of the half it's second down six yards to go ball on the 39 yard line they'll line up with five wide receivers Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop right around midfield. Utah is going to have to use their second time out of the half. In the shotgun and five wide out. He's scrambling. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Joseph's intended to see the other play. That'll make it third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Wants to go long and does. Uh, almost intercepted. We've played a half of football here. Utah's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, oh, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, it, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house it belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street.
All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle around the 19-yard line. Loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Throws in the middle, and he's immediately tackled. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. Zips it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That brings us fourth and seven. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away. Short punt. They're set to go for another round. Utah is up seven. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Out of bounds around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Around the 34-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight. Double tight. Go down, go down. Mike 56, Mike 56. <laughs> Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. to his back and it's in and out of his hands. Joseph is the intended receiver on the way. They'll spread the field with five wide. Deep pass to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. on the extra point. It was a five-play, 66-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 21-7. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Utah is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Tackle after a decent pickup.
There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 42. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Under heavy pressure. He's brought down in the open field. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. From the 40-yard line, first down. complete and taken down immediately. another third down they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook and he shoved out of bounds right around the 22 yard line he is such a reliable target you throw it anywhere near him and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch here's the eighth play of the series Taken down right around the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line, it's first down. And down he goes around the 7 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the one-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. Kicks up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Holmes from the five. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Crystal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. The Utes in front by 11. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds around the 22-yard line. This is what they had hoped for, a stop by their defense just to give them a chance.
Simmons is the putter. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Takes the handoff. Defense coming. And he can't get away from the pressure. No that makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they got him. Perfect time to bring the freshman corner on a blitz. It's crazy to think that he was only in high school less than a year ago. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Here we go. Watch seven. Watch seven. Here we go. Going long. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 14. He's into the open field. Tackle made at the four. defense digging in here hand off and he won't make it where in the world was he going on that run well, that's a good question I thought for a while he got his directions messed up fourth down and it looks like they're gonna go for it again work for him last time Touchdown! Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Mike seven, Mike seven. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. He's going to try and scramble. They don't get it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Aggies had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. And for Texas A&M, their season starts with a win. The Aggies thrashed them and take the big victory. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Brad, at this point, with under two minutes to go, leading with the football, about the only thing that can give this defense a chance to win the game, honestly, is a miscue by the quarterback and maybe the center on the exchange. Maybe it's a handoff. Something has to happen here to allow the defense to get their hands on the football. Brought down at the 41. The Warriors will use their first time out of the half. 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 42. Yeah, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. Hawaii will use their final timeout. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. First down. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Johnson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And they got him. Here comes the pressure. We have less than a minute to go. The spike will stop the clock. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 24-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle at the 47. about three yards to get the first down here on third down this one's over folks just time for one more play to get some stats so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off Aaron and that ball. the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete Play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. And the ball game's over. The Utes get the win here, 48-16. And the Warriors, That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.